Hey guys, Laura here, and today I'm going to show you the perfect and very easy way to contour and highlight your face. Right now, all I have on is just my foundation, which is True Blend by CoverGirl, and it looks like this. And the color I use is 445 Soft Honey. I have on some mascara, which is XXL Pro by Maybelline. And I have on some eyeshadow as well. I have not concealed my face yet, but I will get started with that, and we're going to use the NYX HD Concealer, and the color that I use is CW04 Beige. So first things first, um, I'm going to conceal under my eyes, which I'm just going to apply a little bit like this under each eye, and then I'm going to go ahead and conceal down the nose and a little bit up here in between the eyebrow area. And to rub that in, I'm going to be using a brush by MAC, which is the 190 brush. A good dupe for that is just the regular e.l.f. Um, foundation brush that looks like this. Like that. And next I'm going to pin my hair up because it is in my way terribly. Next step is contouring. What I'm going to use for contouring is Max Blunt Today. Or, sorry, the sun's fading in and out and it is really confusing my lighting. So it's going to use a color that is a matte brown chocolatey. No shimmer, no red undertones to make sure that your look is very natural. Some higher end due to this if you want to go really fancy um, and have a nice fancy smancy contouring is the NARS duo with the Laguna over here or you could go down to the lower end which works just as well is by elf cosmetics which I think this was three dollars and then um, the brown in that is a really good matte brown to use for contouring but like I said, I'm going to be using the blonde by MAC. And to start off, we're going to start off along the cheekbone line. Some people have trouble finding their cheekbone line. And a good thing to do is use, this is just a brush. And you just kind of roll it and you can kind of feel that contouring line. Or you can make a kissy face and kind of suck in. And you can really find that line easily doing that. So the brush I'm going to use for that is by Sonic Cashew. And it looks like this. Just a contouring brush. You can use any brush, and if you want to be more detailed, you could even use an eyeshadow brush that looks kind of like this. I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush, and I'm going to start contouring and working my way back to the hairline. And you can even kind of make a kissy face while you're doing this to make sure you're staying on track with your contouring. how I've contoured already and again you can just use a thin brush get a little bit of the powder on your brush and you can bring it down further down your face if you want it to do that and um which creates an even more thinning look these are kind of harsh lines that we've created on our face what I like to do is take just a little powder brush something like this this is just a fluffy powder brush by MAC and it is 129 and I'm going to dip it in our foundation powder Pet Forever and just kind of work out any harsh lines that you've created just so it looks a little bit more natural. 
like so. Okay, next we're going to be contouring the um, forehead area. The thing is, whenever you're kind of in a dark room, you naturally create a shadow that creates kind of um, just around the forehead area and comes down the cheek. So that's what we're trying to create here. And to do that, again, I'm just using my blunt. And then this time I'm going to use um, the eyeshadow fluffy brush that looks like that. And I'm going to get a little bit on there. And... I'm going to work it up. And the thing is, what we're creating here is kind of like a in cursive E. Um, we're going to go circle, circle. So that's kind of what you're trying to create on your face here. created a lot of harsh lines there and again we're gonna blend that out with a little bit of our foundation powder like so just so we don't have any really harsh lines and we want this to look very natural so as you can see it kind of looks like the light hits me around this area and then the third thing we're going to contour is right here down the nose. Um, again, it's easier to do down the nose if you're using the smaller brush. So I will be using the eyeshadow brush again and using blunt again. And to contour down the nose, we're going to want to do kind of where the brow starts and come straight down the nose and kind of curve it right here on both sides. So let's get started. You really don't want to use a lot of your... Um, powder here you want to do a really light contouring here and this really slenderizes the nose makes the nose look very straight and very small and skinny And there we have our nose. I'm going to add a little bit more. I have a little bit more than usual so you guys can see because the camera takes away so much. And there our nose is contoured. And next we're going to get our bigger brush out that looks like this. And we're going to contour um, a little bit like a U around the chin. And then we're going to go along the jawline right here. And we're going to contour here and then we're going to come right straight down along sides where you can see my neck. Which is just a real, creates a really slendering look for the face. Um, maybe your face is round shape. And it also um, makes it look really natural with the rest of your face where you've already contoured. I'm going to get a little bit on my brush. And we're going to go ahead and do the chin. And then we're going to do the jawline. Work it up into the hairline. And then we're just going to do the other side. Um, but again, I'm going to go over this with my foundation powder because I don't want it to look too harsh or really anything unnatural. And then I'm going to go over my nose just a little bit. Next is highlighting. For highlighting, what I'm going to be using is Sephora's new highlighter they came out with. The lid looks like this. And it's called Fresh Face Luminizing Powder. A good dupe for this is going to be your Maybelline. And this is, I don't know what color this is because it did, oh, it's Champagne Bloom. And it looks like this. Just a shimmery color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so this is a really good dupe for that if you want to use that instead. I'm going to be using just kind of a brush like this. This kind of smushed. 
Or you could take like a regular brush and you could smush it yourself and use it. Whatever is easier. So I'm going to get a little bit on a brush. And whenever you're highlighting your face, you're kind of pushing out things that you want people to notice. Whereas when we contoured, we took away things that maybe we don't want people to notice that much. So the first thing we're going to highlight is we're going to go right above the cheekbone wherever we um, contoured. So we're going to go right above that and we can even go under the eye and kind of create a triangle. Down the nose. Like so. And then the next thing that we will highlight is we're going to do kind of the sun ray, sunshine, right on the forehead. And then we're going, again, we've already contoured around the forehead, so we'll leave that area along. Get a little bit on brush. The next thing is a good trick to um, kind of have a pouty look, I mean a pouty lip, is to, um, you can add a little bit of concealer right above your lip instead of a highlighter. So that's what I'm going to do, and again I'm using the NYX HD Concealer, and I'm just going to add just a touch right above my lip like that, and instead of rubbing it in with a brush, I'm just going to rub it in with my finger. which allowed the light to show up around the lip area and kind of make, give my lip a more pouty look. Another area you might want to highlight if you haven't already done your eyeshadow colors is right underneath the brow bone. So I'm going to get just a little bit of my highlight color on my brush, the smaller eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to apply that right underneath each brow bone. And you can even highlight under your chin, under your lip like this, kind of like a rainbow. step that some people like to skip when highlighting and contouring their face is blush because sometimes they have rosy cheeks already but what you've done is you've already covered all of that with all your foundation powders and contouring and highlighting so I'm gonna add a blush and the blush I'm gonna use today is by MAC and it's called Easy Manner all it is is just a really light colored blush um, pinky colored blush kinda looks like that don't know if you can see it and a good dupe for this is going to be the duo that comes in the e.l.f. contouring palette. It is the, the blush color that comes in that. So what I'm going to be using to apply this blush is just a... I'm going to be using to apply the blush is a brush that looks like this that is angled. And this brush is 168 by MAC. And to apply the brush, I'm going to do it right at the apples of my cheeks. Sometimes you have to kind of smile to um, find those and you're going to work it in a circular motion on back. You have it. That is your easy contouring and highlighting look with blush added. Um, this is my first YouTube video that I've done so far. I hope, really hope you guys liked it. Um, I want you guys to please comment below and give me more ideas for more videos to add. Um, I can do hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, and of course some hauls and things like that. So just comment below and tell me what you think and tell me what other videos you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching. Bye.